At the Office of Naval Research, we conduct basic and applied research, but then carry those technologies to a point where they are at a prototype level that can be transitioned to uh, a program of record. I have not been a scientist for all of my career. I've been a, uh, an operating naval officer. I've spent most of my career at sea in cruisers and destroyers. Uh, and that's important for someone in my job uh, because I get to work with wonderful scientists and engineers and, and masters of technology who bring the technologies forward uh, that can, can help our warfighters. We really have a wonderful culture of mentoring in the Navy. So there have been a lot of uh, leaders for whom I've worked uh, that have inspired me. In our structure, in our service, we're always training the person beneath us or behind us to take our job because we'll move up too. It's a very ladder-oriented culture. Uh, I love coming to work every day. Uh, mostly I love uh, the people with whom I get to work on a daily basis. Uh, they inspire me and they energize me. Uh, they are passionate about what they do. Uh, they're totally committed to uh, hitting a home run for the Navy and finding the very best technology uh, for our customers, the warfighters out there, the sailors and marines that are, that are working so hard. So I love the fact that we are out there on the edge trying to find leading edge, bleeding edge technologies that can be developed. Uh, it's just a very energizing environment. STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math subjects are the subjects that help uh, our students learn about the technologies that are going to be so important to our prosperity as a nation and maybe even our survival as a people. Uh, the challenges that lie around the corner are very daunting. Uh, we're going to need to figure out how to stretch resources, how to defend ourselves, and how to live with an environment that is in a state of change. It's going to take the best and brightest brilliant minds, uh, those young minds that are out there, the, the Einsteins of tomorrow, to help us solve these very difficult problems that are only going to get harder over time. Five or ten years in the world of technology is a lifetime. And that same five or ten year lifetime in five or ten years will be two years. And two years after that, it'll be six months. So the rate of change is changing, and none of us knows what's around the corner. So we have to think in terms of adaptability. We have to think in terms of just being able to bloom where you're planted, because nobody can really tell the future, and that's becoming more true every day. The rate of change is changing so fast. It's been said that um, in a free society, uh, you get what you celebrate. And that's why it's not surprising today, if you look at what we celebrate as a culture, and who we celebrate, uh, and they're mostly athletic stars, um, rock stars. We don't necessarily give the same level of celebration to scientists and engineers, and it's something we want, want to think about.